What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Megan. Welcome back to my channel. If you're already a subscriber, if this is your first time on my page, go ahead and mash that subscribe button because you know you want to. So, I want to talk about the changing of the equinox. So, yesterday was the official flip of the equinox ushering in the Libra season. So, shout out to all my Libras, gang, gang. So, I know you're probably wondering, what the hell is the equinox? Well, it happens twice a year when the sun goes on the other side of the equator. It represents the sun's journey uh, being halfway through all 12 constellations. So it's more so of like a midpoint. So the theme for this season, given that our sun is conjoined to Mercury in the sign of Libra, is establishing balance, fairness, uh, given that Libra is the sign of relationships, reaching out, connecting with others, establishing boundaries on relationships, establishing um, a sort of um, fairness in communication and the way that you express yourself. <coughs> There's also a element here that um, forces us to separate the things that we need from the things that we want and it goes back to that balance right Libras love balance think about those scales so not only creating balance within you know people places and things around us but within ourselves as well and this is going to be uh, something that's rather challenging because it just so happens that you know the Sun Mercury is opposing Chiron conjoined it to Moon in the sign of Aries, okay? Two po different polarities uh, tugging back and forth. Now, Chiron, also known as the Wounded Healer, uh, being conjoined to the Moon, which is our emotions, right, could definitely bring forth a lot of um, intensity as it comes to our wounds. You know, you feel them way more deeply than you probably normally would. And Chiron and Aries usually always brings about um, either an issue with asserting yourself, issues regarding self-worth, anger management, uh, a need to place yourself above others, or vice versa, an, an, an inability to place yourself um, you know, first in certain dealings. So learning how to balance these two concepts out, you know what I'm saying? Selfishness versus selflessness. Being a people pleaser versus being completely self-absorbed. Any type of traumas uh, that have been experienced around these type of issues will come to surface. And it's going to be very um, tempting to kind of cling on to these to these traumas but you also have to keep in mind with Chiron the way it works is you know given that you actually decode your own pain you can then turn and be a healer to other people so it's not going to be easy but this is the time where you're going to manifest the most success by working through your own traumas and working through this pain to achieve a certain balance to achieve a certain equilibrium between um, the outside world and yourself. Treating others as you wish to be treated during this time is a motto. It's um, a signature element that can be found um, with these energies present. Healing the divide. Be mindful of comparing yourselves to others. And with Libra being present in the planet Mercury, it's okay to express yourself. You know, um, people are definitely going to be more artistically inclined. Don't fight that, you know. Healing can come through positive, channeling those feelings, channeling those deep-rooted traumas into positive self-expression. And, I mean, it doesn't necessarily just have to be like, you know, you being a singer or a songwriter or, you know, creating art, but it could very well be um, thinking outside of the box, embracing the right side of your brain, the right side of your brain being things that are not logical necessarily, things that are uh, unseen, creative, um, more fluid. It's time for us to release the things that no longer serve us. And the key in doing that is having the discernment to know, kind of like that, um, the old saying, you know, God grant me the power to accept the things I cannot change, the 
courage to change the things that I can and the wisdom to know the difference. So tapping into that discernment enough to know what relationships are worth salvaging, what parts of yourself are worth keeping, what traits, what habits are manifesting things that are in alignment with your higher self and what you want for yourself and what things and what people aren't knowing when to uh, pull the plug on a relationship that isn't working for you interpersonal and intimate alike knowing when to remove certain things from your life doing what you have to do in order to create this harmonious kind of um, existence for you is very important that is the signature of this energy that's going on and also given that the moon represents you know the mother and the way that you nurture yourself with it being in opposition to the sun and mercury there could be a tendency here to self-sabotage you know your gut instincts and the way that you look to um, nurture yourself could kind of be um, disharmonious if that's a word or it is just not beneficial to where you're trying to go you know it might be counterintuitive to your goals and to your purpose so be mindful of self-sabotage during this time take time and what i like to do is i have a journal here and it's not necessarily um like a diary but i whenever it moves me i write i jot my thoughts down especially when certain events and things happen that trigger me i write my thoughts down um and it's literally like, you can write crazy. Like, I don't put periods, you know, it's just a stream of consciousness. And it gives me kind of like a tangible reference to go back. And especially when things happen, events happen, um, I'm, I'm triggered emotionally and I'm going through a certain uh, roller coaster or something of that nature. I'm able to look back and kind of see like, okay, this happened and this is where I was mentally. This is the way I responded, you know, and over time I can kind of get a, a visual reference point of what behaviors, you know, what behaviors um, come from me being triggered, you know, what can I, okay, let me work through this. This is a negative trait that I have, um, a negative reaction that I had to A, B, C, and D. Let me be mindful of that moving forward. So I think that's a really good idea. Um, just start journaling, journaling uh, your goals, your day-to-day -day feelings. It doesn't necessarily have to be like Moesha, you know. <laughs> Today I went to the store and grabbed some chicken and a Coke, you know. But I find that that definitely works with helping um, express yourself. And once again, that kind of right brain self-expression, using that to help you achieve balance in your emotions and in your life. Great thing, it's a, it's a good tool. So, uh, drop a comment below. Let me know if I missed anything or if there's something you guys want me to cover in particular. Up next, I do have a uh, rising series that I'm gonna kick off because it has been requested. So. Once again, just make sure you practice unconditional self-love so that you can love others. And until next time, 